Sylvie Daigle has already won the 1500 meter finals in the women's competition. And as we see the men lining up, Yuichi Akasaka, 15 year old from Japan, is there in lane one. Lane two, Luis Grenier, 22 years old from Canada. Lane three, Toshinubu Kawaii, 15 years old from Japan. From Quebec City, Canada, Michelle Delisle in lane four, Michael Richmond from Australia, lane five, and Tashiyoshi Ishihara from Japan in lane six. He's five foot six inches, 140 pounds as they get ready to start this race. 1,500 meters, 14 and a half laps. And they're off to an excellent start. The Canadians take the early lead. Michelle Delisle of Canada is out in front, and Eric, he is a very strong indoor speed skater, isn't he? The Canadians have a very strong team. Most of their skaters train primarily for the indoor skating, while a lot of the other teams, like the Americans, train both for the indoor and outdoor. But don't cut out the Japanese. They're known to go hard from the gun. Now you'll notice the angle at which they take these curves. They use special skates, and Eric Hyden, please explain the difference between these skates and outdoor skates for us. But still negotiate those sharp corners. Also, the boot of the indoor skate is a form-fitted fiberglass, which gives the skaters much more support. There are eight laps to go, and look at this, Eric. It looks like Ishihara has just lost his footing and taken out Louis Grenier. And look at the Japanese right away have gone to the front, quickened up the pace, trying to drop that Canadian skater. Akasaka in first place, Dalil in second, and the world record for this event is 227.27, set by Tatsuyushi Ishihara. The Japanese are known for going hard right from the gun, and I wouldn't be surprised if Akasaka keeps his pace up and just drops everybody. Eric, I think one of the things these skaters are considering is the drafting. That is oftentimes a problem in an event like this, isn't it? Well, drafting is an important part of speed skating because the skaters behind the leader don't have to work as hard. On the other hand, though, it's very hard to pass when you're behind. Michael Richmond of Australia in the second place now and challenging for first place, beating Akasaka, moving into first place. Two good moves by Michael Richmond put him in first, and that's surprising. He's big for an indoor skater. Little bit of bumping there, and ooh, we're going to have to see what the judges think about that. As we come into the final turn, that's Luis Grenier of Canada. He still has a lap to go, but Michelle Delisle has won this race with a time of 237.60. And there was an awful lot of contact here today. Let's take another look, Eric. This is the first mishap early in the race where all the skaters are together and really jostling for position. Now watch, Ishihara and Louis Grenier click skates, almost taking Michael Richmond out. And we now learn Ishihara has been disqualified for just that. Well, you're looking at Michael Richmond of Australia. He's conferring with the chief referee and his coach. Seems he may have a bit of a problem with that, that second incident of bumping. With less than a lap to go, Michael Richmond swung wide and then came in and actually gave Akasaka a hip check. And that's not allowed in indoor skating. So he was disqualified. You're looking at the winner of the men's 1500 meter final competition. His name, Michelle Delisle of Canada, time 237.60. Kawaii of Japan was second, Luis Grenier of Canada third, and we'll be back with the women's competition after this. We're back at the World Short Track Speed Skating Championships where the Canadians are dominating. Sylvie Daigle just won the women's 500 meter. Bonnie Blair of the United States was disqualified, and the American men are having their problems too. In the 500 meter event, luck ran out on Steve Merrifield and Pat Moore when not even a half lap into the race, rounding the first corner, Pat Moore slipped, obstructing Steve Merrifield's progress, allowing Louis Grenier and Guy Dineau to go on and finish one, two respectively. Louis Grenier went on to set a world record in the 500 meter event of 45 points. Picking up the action in the men's 3,000 meter finals, the women have already raced and Sylvie Daigle won there, completing a clean sweep of all four events. Ishihara of Japan has just come to the front and really picked up the pace with Louis Grenier right behind him. Earlier I asked Louis about who he considered his toughest competitors. Well, be careful with the Japanese because the 3000 is their distance and uh, they might use lots of strategy in that race to beat uh, the Canadian skaters. And Ishihara holds the world record in this event. Eric, when do the Canadians begin to make their move? Well, Louis Grenier is sitting in a very good spot right now. He's able to stay much closer to the markers on the corner, and this allows him a straight shot up the inside of Ishihara on any one of the straightaways that he really wants. Well, Eric, if Monsieur Grenier wants to win this one, he'd better get a move on because Ishihara is out in front at this point, and there are less than three laps to go. 
Lou, he is looking pretty tired, and he is known for his sprinting, but don't count him out, really. You can hear the Japanese crowd getting very excited at this point. Ishihara in first place, Grenier in second, and there's the bell laugh. Louis Grenier being able to hold those blocks is just past Ishihara on the inside of that home stretch. And unless something happens, he's got this race won. And Luis Grenier wins the men's 3,000 meter competition and at the same time captures the overall title. The Canadians completely dominating here at the World Short Track Speed Skating Championships, winning all eight events. And there's Ishihara congratulating Luis Grenier on his terrific win. Again, Grenier wins the 3,000 meter men's competition and the two Japanese take second and third position. The overall winners were both Canadians, Luis Grenier and Sylvie Daigle.